they have thoughts and message. So this person could be thinking about communicating with someone, sending them a message, or this person is thinking about some type of message. Maybe this was, you have thief on the bottom of the deck. This could have been a fake message. Imprisonment in the reverse. So somebody is no longer like feeling stuck or trapped in something. This could be somebody that got out of, um, yeah, adjudication in the reverse. So something could have, somebody could have been stuck in some type of situation that was done and it was fraudulent, something that was injustice. Um, this person is no longer in that situation. You have high honor. And then mature woman. So whoever this person is, this is someone that they highly respect. They could look up to that person or they just feel like that person is someone that is, um, you know, coming out of a situation having victory after something injustice was done to them. They want to say something or communicate with this person. You have occupation. And then unexpected income. Yeah, it's like they're watching this person work. This person could be very focused on work and they're, they're gaining some type of unexpected income. Yeah, this is someone that works very hard. Toil and labor is here. So they're not paying attention to anything but work. Whoever this mature woman is. Then you have community. And then concern. And then journey on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So you have a group of people or, you know, people in the community could be concerned that this person wants to reach out to whoever this mature woman is. Or these people in the community is concerned about how hard working this person is. That don't make sense. So they they could be concerned about this person wanting to reach out to whoever this mature woman is. Then you have journey. It's like that person is going towards a whole nother direction. And somebody is concerned. This could be people in their community. This could be different family members, different friends, people that they were attached to or are attached to. You have Queen of Wands. And then Queen of Swords. And then the Chariot. You have the Star. And then Knight of Swords. Wow. Two of Cups. So yeah, somebody is running towards someone because they want to partner up with that person. Maybe they want to work with that person. This could be a relationship, a mutual agreement. Something like that. It's like somebody have healed or they see this person as the star. They could be attracting a lot of attention. This could be someone that is attracted to whoever this mature woman is. And they see them in this Queen of Swords energy. You have the Four of Pentacles. It's like somebody is attracted to somebody. Maybe this person cut somebody out and moved on with the Queen of Swords in the chariot. And they've healed from something. Now somebody wants to run towards this person. And they want to partner up with this person. Yeah, Ace of Swords is here. King of Wands. So this is somebody that have been sitting back admiring you. This is someone, if they've been watching you, this is how they've been able to like hold on to you for Pentacles. This could be someone that held back. As well, 
They could have held back the truth. This person could have held back their emotions. Ace of Cups. So this person could want to speak some type of truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords being here. And this could be about their emotions. Eight of, Eight of Pentacles is here. And then the Nine of Wands. And then you have the Lovers. And then the high priestess. <laughs> this is so serious. It's like this person, maybe this person was trying to. It's like this person is someone, they could be nervous about this. If this is someone that's like a divine counterpart, this person is nervous about coming towards you. You have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they could be nervous because it's the Eight of Wands is like you could be manifesting something quickly or something like that. And then you have the Moon. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, somebody could have wanted that person to be nervous about this divine connection because this person could have gotten guarded. They could have gotten guarded because of whatever it is that you do for work. And it's like with the lovers and the high priestess, that person could have knew of a spiritual connection or you could have knew that you have a spiritual connection with that person. And you were just focusing on working on yourself, Eight of Pentacles. Then you have toil and labor, occupation. You've just been focusing on you. Um, especially if this was hidden from this person and they never knew. And um, I'm pretty sure it was hidden from you and you found out on your own. You never knew. So it's like phases and cycles, different things that needed to be completed. Healing processes. That person needed to go through that. Maybe you went through it first and that person, didn't. you know, they were sitting back guarded. And they never knew. They were just watching you. Attracted to you. But they were trying to keep it hidden. You have the page of pentacles. Somebody was definitely learning some type of lesson. And then the two of pentacles. Three of swords. And then six of pentacles. Then you have the six of cups. So this is somebody that you have been separated from. This could be a past life connection. You and this person were connected in a past life. Some type of way you and that person got separated. And, um, this person was supposed to be coming back towards you. Six of Cups, reconciling with you, reuniting with you. And then Six of Pentacles is here, balancing something out. Or you and this person would be balancing something out together. Because they, this Three of Swords talks about separation. But this was hidden from this person. They didn't know. So it's like they were in this Nine of Wands energy, very guarded. As I said, that person could have been learning some type of lesson. They could have been in some type of uh, cycle and they were unsure and they just stayed guarded. You have the King of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, you could have spoke the truth about this and you move forward. But it's like this person is in this King of Swords energy. And then Two of Wands is here. It's like they just distanced themselves and kept themselves at a stalemate like waiting. Somebody is definitely using their intuition. This person has a gut feeling or something like that. And they want to communicate with you.
divine timing. So something is going to happen in divine timing. If you and this, if this person was keeping their self at a stalemate, it was because it was the wrong time. Now it's like if, you know, divine timing is perfect timing. So it's now it's like that person wants to come toward you or say something to you. Yeah, this is new love. You have travel. So this person could want to go, come towards you. This person could want to get away with you. Or it's like you and this person have been distant for a long time. I don't know why I keep getting that. Yeah, reconciliation is here. So it's going to be some type of reunion between you and this person. This is someone that misses you. You have fear. Somebody is in fear. Or scared. Somebody that was... Wow. <laughs> Whoever the person is that's in fear, this person is someone that was, you know, disguising their self. Maybe this person lied about something because masks popped out. This was somebody that had hidden motives. And they're in fear of you and this person reconciling. Yeah, divine intervention. Somebody is getting ready to receive some type of karma. If they were trying to keep that person from reconnecting with you or reconciling with you... Somebody is getting ready to go through karma and they're going to be in regret. Like this was a big mistake. They were making the wrong choice trying to keep that person um, from connecting with you. Spiritual awakening. So this person definitely got enlightened. Signs and synchronicities. They've been receiving messages from the universe. Then you have breakup. This could be somebody that um, somebody walked away from. Like something is this over. And they were in fear of this person reconciling with you. Maybe they knew about the spiritual connection. And they were trying to hide it. They were trying to conceal something. This person had been wearing a mask, whoever they were attached to. Social media. This person is sitting back spying on social media. They could be watching you, spying on that person after some type of breakup. Yeah, relationship. It's like they're watching to see if that person got in a relationship. They're watching to see if you've gotten a committed relationship. I'm so dumb. <laughs> this is sad. This got to be misery. You have snake. Yeah, this is somebody that was a snake to that person. This is somebody that was very deceptive. They were an enemy to that person. This is somebody that tempted that person to um, be attached to them. So it could have been like they could have seduced that person, tricked that person, something like that. Musician is here. So, I mean, music is here. This could have been involved in music. You could be a musician. This person could be a mu um, musician. And then you have home, comfort. And then mystery. So this person could have did something to confuse that person. Like they could have placed something in this person's home. With mystery being here. And then you have home. This person could be spending a lot of time working on some type of music. And they could be spending a lot of time at home as well to confuse that person. Because they know this person is somebody that's stalking them or spying on them. Yeah, it's like somebody have been in a healing process. Yeah, secret crush. So this person has been secretly admiring you. And then you have rolled the dice. This person is getting ready to like take a chance, come towards you. They feel like it's a ma magnetic attraction between you and them. Yeah, this is someone who feels like you're irresistible. But then they got a stalker, like a stalking type of this ex. 
this person is in fear of you and this person reconciling because they knew about this divine connection. It's like now that person know. But this was their worst fear. They didn't want that person to know because they didn't want that person to come towards you. This is somebody that's miserable. It's like there's no telling what this person tried to hide, what this person lied about to try to block this person off from coming towards you. Somebody is desperate and miserable. Whoever this person is that they detach from. That's trying to see if that person got in a committed relationship. Have you got in a committed relationship? <laughs> ah, this is sad. Ain't no way a person will be sitting back in their right mind worried if another person have gotten a relationship. Or somebody else got in a relationship. Unless you hadn't did something wrong. You know, some type of deception. To a person. This is sad. You have transformation. You could have went through some type of transformation. Yeah, this person was playing with black magic. This is why they're in fear. And they don't know that they're getting ready to receive some type of karma. It's like everything that they were fearing... It came back because if this person was trying to throw like black magic spell work over the connection, it has caused a transformation in a positive way. You have a leader. Wow. Yeah, right path is here. It's like somebody is getting on the right path. You're on the right path. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. You got spell work exposed. This person is realizing that whoever that energy is wanted to have them stuck. And this person was using a lot of trickery. I, all I keep getting miserable and desperate. Somebody was very desperate and miserable. Yeah, sneaky. This is somebody that's very sneaky. They didn't know this person was a hidden enemy. But now they know. Yeah, this person did all of this out of jealousy. I'm so dumb. It's just sad how people let jealousy and envy take over them. And it don't do nothing but sabotage them. You have a gold digger. This is somebody that was out to get whatever that person had. But they didn't want that person to think that. It's like they play some type of black magic over that person to confuse that person to keep them stuck. So they would not come towards you. They wouldn't get on the right path. They would never find out about the divine connection. Yeah, whoever this gold digger is, this person is spying. And I cannot make this up. They're desperate. This is somebody that is very envious. Then you have lustful energy. Maybe they thought that they were going to be able to keep that person attracted to them through lust. And it didn't work. This is someone who definitely knew about the twin flame journey way before they did. So this could be your twin. And somebody thought that black magic was going to um, stop something that was destined to take place. Yeah, negativity. It's like once this person, once this person found out what well, this person knew before they knew, um, they've been trying to cause a lot of negativity because they're unhappy. So it's like somebody is not getting what they want and they're upset. Yeah, because karmic justice is being served. Wow. This person could be trying to figure out how could they get some type of communicate. They could be under a fake account on social media, watching you and watching that, watching that person. <laughs> this is sad. I know I crossed the line with you. So somebody knows that they crossed the line. This could be this person saying they crossed the line with you or whoever this, uh, this snake energy is, this gold digger. This person knows they crossed the line with whoever that person is. They want to tell you how they feel. 
I don't react when people mention you. I wish I would have treated you better. So this person could have, you know, just distanced themselves from you. People could be asking them about you. And this person is like, you know, acting nonchalant as if they, they just don't react. There's no no emotion or um, reaction. But they're wishing that they would have treated you better. This is someone who felt like they couldn't let you get close to them. Then you have, we need to let each other go on the bottom of the deck. So they needed to let whoever that person is go. But it's like one person is, is still, you know, lingering around watching that person. They can't let go. And it's like they could be stuck with whatever they were playing with. So they can't move on. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I can feel you even though we are apart. I left you when I saw you with someone else. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, so whoever this person is, they, um, whoever your divine counterpart is, this person is realizing that they were lost. Um, but they didn't know somebody was placing black magic over them, like to use them. This person could have treated you a certain way and they're wishing they would have treated you better. But they came to the realization that they needed to let whoever this person is go. I keep getting karmic. So whoever this karmic energy is, they needed to let that person go and um, detach from that person and heal. Because this is somebody that was very sneaky. They would least suspect that, that person had been playing with spell work, placing black magic over them, and knew about a spiritual path that they had way before they knew. Now it's like they went through some type of transformation after finding out something or realizing something and they're getting on the right path. Because this person was guarded for a long time because they didn't know they were being confused by whoever this person is. Yeah, somebody that was strongly jealous over this connection and they felt like they had control over it with spell work. But the spell work got exposed. 